Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we have a box, and this box is just begging to be opened. I actually was about to go out, running out the door, open the door, and what did I see sitting on my welcome mat? This lovely box from SmokingPipes.com. Always lovely when that happens. This was packed by Casey. So anyway, I set up my camera real quick, didn't have time to do all the lighting. Um, so it, I know it looks a little weird here, but I wanted to pop this box open ASAP. So we're going to do that now. Let's just cut this packing tape. Now, of course, there are some old favorites in here as usual, but a few other blends that you might find interesting. So let's take a look. Uh, hopefully you can't see into the box. I want this all to be a surprise here. Um, interesting packing materials. That smoking Pipes is using now, it appears that they have started recycling old boxes, which is nice. Uh, strange shredded boxes, hopefully. I can take this out without you seeing these blends. This is some weird stuff. <laughs> How much of this is there? My lord. Alright, so here we go. First of all, as per usual, pipe cleaners. Big old bag O pipe cleaners. The regular sized BJ Longs, and the yellow wrappers, and then the extra fluffy in the pink wrappers. There's no reason not to buy pipe cleaners online because they're about a buck a piece, sometimes less. So I usually stock up like crazy. And also, as per usual, if you've got any pipes lying around, turn them into cash or store credit. Smoking Pipes always includes this in their packages. But let's get to the blends here. First of all, something which I'm sure you were probably expecting. Um, we have four tins of Elizabethan mixture. Yes, have to keep the stock up of Elizabethan mixture at all times. That's just kind of important. Let's put this here. You can't see it anyway. It doesn't matter. This is just on the fly. This is, this is vlogging, I guess you could say. Next, we have... Restocking, of course, Dunhill Standard Mixture. I always like to have some of this on hand. This is just my quintessential basic English mixture. Not super strong in Latakia, not really mellow, nothing odd or unique really about it, which doesn't sound like much of an endorsement, but it's just a nice, tasty, meat and potatoes kind of English mixture. Enjoy this a lot. So we've got that. Now, a reorder of something that I've I can't remember how long ago I did the review of this, but I reviewed this, Peterson Irish Flake. Really enjoyed it, and I've had several tins since then, and it's something that I just crave every once in a while. And I really love this in the morning with some coffee, if I have time to enjoy a pipe in the morning and drink coffee in the mornings, usually on the weekends. And this is one of those blends where it's kind of variable in terms of nicotine kick. If I have this in the afternoon or in the evening, don't really feel much, maybe maybe a medium nicotine punch. If I take this in the morning, if I haven't eaten or anything yet, my head can swim a bit and I can get a little bit loopy, but it's not too much. It's a pleasant amount, so a nice buzz in the morning with a cup of coffee, it goes quite well. Really, really enjoy this stuff. Even though it has kind of an anise topping and almost a licorice-y sort of topping to it, not much, it's very mild, but usually any sort of detected flavoring I hate but I don't mind, that, mind it in this blend at all. And it's, it's mild enough that you could trick yourself into thinking it's not there. But I just love this. I really recommend people check this out. Um, check out my review of Peterson Irish Flake as well. Excellent blend. Now, here's one that's kind of interesting. Um, I think I've had several viewers ask me to review this, and it's something that's kind of been on my radar for a while. But it is Samuel Gawith Commonwealth Mixture. Now this blend is supposed to be 50-50 Latakia, Virginia. And if you know anything about how much Latakia is in even a blend, say like Nightcap, it's not 50% Latakia. So that is a high Latakia concentration. I'm assuming this is going to be a very full English blend, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'm not sure if it's going to be the kind of thing that I could smoke every day or anything like that. But um, I'll be cracking this tin open soon. Obviously, as we all know, Gawith blends usually come soaking wet, so I'll probably open this sooner rather than later and maybe let it dry out for a little bit. 
but Commonwealth Mixture by Samuel Gawith. Interesting. Now this next one you've already seen, but it's something that I guess I've just been getting lucky lately because I spent two years, three years, I don't even know, trying to locate this blend, um, putting my name on waiting lists, on websites, things like that. And then recently I was able to procure some in, I guess not bulk, but in bag form, did a review, really enjoyed it. But look, ba-bam, I've got a tin of Penzance now. Isn't that a cute little tin? It's lovely. So I'm gonna be popping this away, just putting this to uh, age for a while. I don't think I'll be cracking this open anytime soon. I still have, I think four or five ounces jarred up as well, put away of Penzance. So not a bad supply. And this is a two ounce tin, I believe. Yes, two ounces, lovely, lovely Penzance. Great smoke. And last but not least, we have a blend that is, I guess the original version is often considered one of the tastiest Englishy, Balkany blends that has ever existed. This is not the original version, um, even though it says original smoking mixture on here, but it is the Balkan Sobrani. Now, this version, um, imported by Arango Cigars, the same people who import, what? Yes, the Esoterica tobaccos. And what does that make you think, or what would that lead you to believe? Yes. J.F. Germain makes this version of the Balkan Sobrani. Um, I, I'll have to do my research as to how long they've been making this version. And people disagree as to how close it comes to the original. I've never had the original, so I won't be able to judge that. But by all accounts, it is a tasty Balkan blend. And for those of you who don't know, a Balkan blend is kind of a newer term that pipe smokers have used to describe English blends with a fairly high concentration of oriental tobaccos. Back in the day when, you know, Balkan Sobrani had its heyday, maybe in the 20s, you probably wouldn't have called this a Balkan blend. But I'm quite looking forward to trying this out as, as well. So we've got two more blends that haven't been reviewed yet. Gom Commonwealth by Gawith and Balkan Sobrani by... I guess you could say by Germaine. Um, so look forward to that. And I still have quite a few other blends in the queue that I need to get to. So hopefully I can work through some of these blends pretty soon, but that was my box opening for today. Not a bad haul. Let me see if I can grasp all these in my hands at one time. Ooh, lovely, lovely, shiny tins of tobacco. So I'm gonna be looking forward to working through all of these. In fact, I'm gonna crack this open right now. There we go. Mmm. That hurts the fingernails. Ugh. I love the smell of this. It's excellent. Peterson Irish Flake. Check it out. But now, I think I'm going to actually load a bowl of one of these babies. So thank you so much for watching. I bring your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things opening a box. I'll see you later.